What's up everybody, I'm IGP and welcome to Factorio. Now Factorio is a game in which you build and maintain factories, very complex factories. It's developed by Woob Software LTD and it came out in early access on Steam on the 25th of February. Now this game is very complicated as you guys may see from the screen here or from what you may have heard from other people, it really is complicated. In fact, when I first saw it, it deterred me because I was like, there's no way I can have the attention to play this game, learn it, and also commentate for YouTube. And then I saw Markiplier play it and I was like, eh, if he's having a hard time figuring out everything too, I'm probably not going to have any luck playing this on my own at all. And so after a few more minutes of research, I decided to play it myself and I actually called up a buddy and played it with him and that's when all the fun started. The game is actually really addictive. And I can't explain to you why it is, you know, maintaining and building factories. It's just super addicting. And I only scratched the surface of the game. I only know the basics, like the beginner basics. So obviously, without needing to be said, I'm going to say it anyway. If you guys have any tips or suggestions, please post them in the comment section below so I can get better at this game. Now, I think you guys are going to really enjoy this, but just to let me know for sure, if you guys want to see more Factorio from me or... Also, potentially playing with other YouTubers, leave a big thumbs up. It really helps out. You have no idea. So let's go ahead and get started. There are three different modes. The multiplayer, which I mentioned, the campaign, which is like a tutorial slash challenge thing, I think. I don't know. I'm not going to try it. I just want to do sandbox, which we're going to create a new game. I'm not going to mess with any of the settings here. We're just going to do a flat, generic world, and we're going to generate that mofo. And hopefully we have some luck doing this. Tips and tricks. No, thank you. I know everything about this game. This is the Factorio free play. Your task is to launch a rocket to explore space. Do this by constructing a rocket silo and launching a rocket with a satellite. You'll need to research advanced technologies in order to unlock the rocket silo. Start small, work your way up with automation, and don't forget to protect yourself from the natives because they will attack you and destroy your factories, your hard, hard-earned factories here. Okay, so here we are in the wonderful world of Factorio. Fantastic. Everything is randomly generated. We got a lot of sources of copper, iron, coal, and stone all around us, and a few good water sources, which is actually something we can utilize here. Now, you're given enough what you, know, what you need at the very beginning. We got a burner mining drill and a stone furnace, and also we have enough materials to craft everything that we need, uh, such as... Uh, the transport belts, and the burner inserter. Now, I'm going to be the smart person and go ahead and make an iron axe before anything else because that's super important that we have that because otherwise, chopping away at stuff is super slow. In fact, I wonder, I wonder if I can actually show you. Can I unequip this? I can. Let me show you how slow it is. This is with your default mining tool that will never break, doesn't have any durability, but I could sit here and tell you a damn story, put you to sleep, then wake you up and make you breakfast in the morning before I actually get one coal. So, I'm actually going to sit through this. Hopefully you guys don't mind. You know what? I don't even have the patience for that. Let's go ahead and put this back on. Equip it. And now, we'll mine super fast. Boom. Two coal. Three coal. And you can see, each one of these blocks has an enormous amount of resources. This specific block has 351 more coal. 350 at this point. So I have a ton of coal to power my stuff. And uh, But yeah, you're, there's it leaves so many possibilities open because there's so many resources in one unit. This one has 642, 731. I saw 800 somewhere. So many possibilities for automated factories. And that's why this game is awesome. So let's go over here because I want to get iron. We're going to need some iron. Uh, first, we're going to place down the little uh, furnace we have here. Then we're going to place down the drill. And this is going, let me put it over here actually, because you do have to place things specifically. Uh, the arrow is where the output's going to be. So this is going to drill up resources and then output them out this way. And what we're going to do is go ahead and craft up a transport belt to this way. And you'll see what we're doing in just a bit. Uh, we got two of them actually. But uh, we're going to go ahead and power this. Split this in half by right-clicking. Oops, sorry. Put it here. And then uh, we're going to put... And we have to mine some ore ourselves because we don't have anything else. So get some ore in here, right? Iron ore. You can also do this with copper, and it will melt down into uh, copper stuff. So let's go ahead and put that stuff in here. Iron ore. And it will go ahead and give you some iron plates, which we can then take and make more stuff. So we need... Looks like we need three iron plates to make... A thing which we do have right now so then we're going to go ahead and do this and make a burner inserter now the burner inserter is going to take the resources produced here and we can rotate it and put it right here and it's going to place it inside the burner to be utilized 
So here we are, and we're going to put coal in here. Okay, I've gathered a little bit more coal, and we're actually going to have to power all of these items here. They're all going to need coal to be able to work. So here is the factory in a nutshell, the smallest factory we can get. The drill is producing the iron ore, placing it on the belt, then grabbed from the belt is the burner inserter, or I'm sorry, the burner inserter grabs the resources from the belt, I, I worded that incorrectly, and then it places it into the furnace, which it then produces stuff for us. Automatically, as long as we can keep it fueled, it will work. Now, one of the best things we can actually do is create one of these systems over here and then transport coal all the way to be placed in these three things to make sure that it is running all the time. So we're going to have to gather a few more resources to do that. We need another burner and another drill. Okay, so it looks like we actually need to make two stone furnaces and then we can make both of the things because it actually the, the drill actually uses a stone furnace to be made. Now for this video, I'm going to cut out most of the boring stuff like mining resources. But if I start playing with other people, or I just decide to casually play this myself. It might be just an ongoing 30 minute thing. Just talking to you guys, mining resources and playing this game. So if you guys aren't, you know, if you guys are opposed to that, let me know. But generally that's how I'm going to approach games like this, where it's like, there isn't much time for me to just sit and talk. So the time that I am going to utilize sitting and talking is going to be when I'm doing boring stuff like mining resources. All right. So we have 23 stone. Let's go ahead and make this stuff, make one of those and make one of these and make another one. Boom. So we got both of those. Perfect. We're going to need some more iron ore. So hopefully, or iron, uh, ooh, out of power. We have some more coal. Let's get some more stuff. How much do we have? 22. Look at that. Perfect. All right. Let's see. Let's make some belts. Make a burner inserter. Now we're going to make a huge beltway up here to automate this. So I'm going to put a drill. Actually, I don't think we even need the burner right now, but we need the drill to drill out here and then basically place like this and then we can start actually let's make some more we can make five total let's just make them and then we can start placing this stuff here so we're gonna want to i don't even know how far up this is it's pretty far <laughs> we're gonna need a lot more than this but that'll be fine we got three more cool so that's still automating uh, now we need some coal for this. Now, it generally, you'd imagine it be able to fuel itself, but it doesn't. Actually, in fact, you can have an arm fuel itself with coal. For instance, so if there's coal going down here, an arm can grab and place it inside of here, and it will also fuel itself. So it will grab a coal and put it inside itself. I'll show you when I get to that point, but it's actually kind of neat that it does that. But let's get some more coal here. We got three. Let's just at least get it running for now to start producing more coal. So there's one. It produces rather slowly, but it's enough to keep things going. Now, it will stop at the end of the belt, obviously. Oh, my pickaxe is gone now. Damn it. I need another one. That's fine. All right, keep this stuff going here. Uh, we got 17 plates. That's good. That's perfect. All right, so let's make that pickaxe. Oops, sorry. And then some more belts, because we can do that. All right, let's get 10 belts. Let's go ahead and place some of these going over this way. I can't remember how far. Okay, so now we just want to go straight up. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. We'll get some more coal and repeat the process until we're able to automate this. <laughs> we got plenty of coal waiting. I actually can't do anything with that. As If it's on the belt and in the world, I actually can't touch it. It has to be picked up by a belt or by an arm or something else like that. And obviously, if you see on the map there, there's a bunch of red spots. Those are enemies. If they come over here, we got to shoot them. We can actually use our gun uh, when we're near an enemy and press space and it will actually kill the enemy. So I'm going to split this. A few more times, get like five, put that there, keep that running, and split these up here. Should be good. Actually, we're not good at all. Okay. Split, and then down to five, and then split, split in half, and then you are going to split in half as well. Cool. And then we have 25 more plates. Fantastic. So we can actually make a whole bunch of freaking... <laughs> little uh, panels here, transport belts. So we're going to keep it going. Now you can pretty much paint if you want to. In fact, you can hold, you can walk on it and just hold left click down and it will work the same way. We're almost up there actually. This is going to be perfect. Uh, so we're going to need a transport or a burner inserter. Actually, we're going to need an inserter, not a burner inserter. Now this is where it gets a little bit fun. We got to generate electricity other than just powering things with coal. We're going to need to generate electricity. Now, I'll show you how to do that in a second. Let me get some more coal. But basically, we're going to need electricity to operate a certain things. And the easiest way to do that in the beginning is to use water and get a water pump to steam up 
the water and it will you can create a steam engine and all this crazy shit it's a bunch of crazy stuff in fact let's look at all this stuff this is all the stuff you can actually learn this is what we know right now just the basics of i think or no these are just the first tiers that we don't know yet we can't do any of this until we unlock the first ones in these but this is all the stuff we can unlock which will give us new recipes like uh let's see long-handed inserter uh, i guess it'll do like two steps i don't know but it's it's gonna get really complicated eventually, but fun, super fun. I don't know why this is so fun. I love even talking about it right now. It's very weird. All right, so I'm gonna put some more coal in here. Keep that going. We have a lot of coal waiting here. Everything is operating smoothly over here. Just want to keep a few going here, and then take that, put it there. Boom. Okay, so we got 24 more. Let's see what we can make at this point. We got pipes, so we're gonna need the water pump. We're gonna need the steam engine. So let's go ahead and make that. Which, see, the nice thing is, is like, if we look at the steam engine, right, it tells you what you need at the, at, right, right at the top. You need five iron gear wheels, five pipes, and five iron plates. However, it will tell you all the raw material you'll need to build it. So, technically, it will take 20 metal plates to make all of those sub-resources to make the steam engine. So, if you click the steam engine, when you have enough of the raw resources, it will actually make all of those sub-resources for you and then make the steam engine, which is amazing. But we're looking good. We might need another iron axe over here, but I think we're fine. We do need a boiler, and then we're going to need some pipes. Now, we actually need, let's see, an offshore pump, which we need electrical circuit, which is going to be copper. So let's get some copper in here and uh, start turning that into some copper. Or actually, what does it turn into after the boiler? Copper plates? Yeah, copper plates. That's fine. And we're out, like I said we were. Let's make that axe, and now we're good. Really quick crafting, man. They're really good at this. We may not need all that damn coal, but <laughs> we can use this one source of coal to, um, in fact, you know what we could do that would be really fun to do is send a belt around here and then have an arm reach out, grab it here, and then insert it into here so it's infinite. We have 1.7 thousand ore that can be mined there, so it's definitely enough to keep it going for a while. Otherwise, we can just remove it and put it down somewhere else. All right, let's make a burner. Or a stone furnace, which we can put out here. Uh, we're going to need a few more pieces of coal, and then we can put some in there for power. And then just I'm just going to use that to place manually some copper in there so we can make the copper plates. Because we're going to make the boiler, which is going to eventually fuel electricity to fuel everything. Okay, so add more coal to that one because it was running out. In fact, I don't really need to do that. I think we have enough coal waiting on these belts. But we'll be okay. Okay, I think that's enough. Let's go ahead over here and power up this burner by putting half the coal in here and the copper ore. That'll give us enough plates. So what are we out of over here? Okay. Let's keep it going, guys. We need to keep this rolling. We have nine in there and five in there. 30 plates. Fantastic. What can we make with this now? We can make some belts. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Boom, 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 boom. Make some more. We can make six. Let's just make them all. It's fine. We're going to get more anyway. There's tons of resources. No need to worry. Do one. Perfect. It's actually really perfect. And then we're going to use the regular inserter. Oh, that's the burner inserter. We're going to have to make a different inserter. How do I make that? Oh, yeah. We need the copper. Duh. That's what I was talking about. Okay. What do we got over here? Got stuff going? Sweet. Uh, can we turn stone into something? What is that going to do? Oh. What is that? A stone brick. I didn't even know we can do that. Fantastic. All right. What is this? That's the burner inserter. Uh, let's make... Ooh, how much do we need? Oh, four iron plates, too. Okay, let's grab those. We got 15. And then we can make... We can make the pipes. Can we make the steam? Yeah, we can make the offshore pump. Let's do that real quick. And then, what is this? Repair pack. Oh, that's cool. Um, let's make an inserter. And we'll show you how this all works. It's, it's <laughs> a little complicated. Alright, so we're gonna rotate this, right? So it needs power. That's what that light means. And we're gonna take an offshore pump and put it somewhere around here that will let us do it. Okay, right there. Perfect. And then we're going to take the uh, boiler and attach it. Now, this is going to need fuel, uh, such as copper, or not copper, uh, coal, sorry. It's going to need a natural resource to work. All right, to make this a little easier, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make an iron chest. And since we have a bunch of coal waiting to be distributed anyway, and I need coal constantly, I'm going to go ahead and place the iron chest right here. 
And I think this will work. I'm not entirely sure, but it might. It should put it straight into the box. Yes, it does. So that way it'll collect as we're waiting. And then I can come back to it eventually and gather some more. So I'm going to fuel this one up so we can keep it going. And it should be enough to last for a while. And then use the coal to do everything else. Ah, damn it. I need another pickaxe. Or they call it an axe, but that's a pickaxe to me. I don't know about you. All right, so just put that in there. Keep that going. We got seven. I'll take it. And then we'll get a little bit more over here. And that should produce for a while. Actually, I'll put it in here. Ten. Keep that going. Keep that going. We got three. See how it works? And then once I'm done, I can actually take the resources out of that, move the box, and then put the belt back. And that way we can actually keep it flowing if we need to. We can cut off resources anytime. Again, it's a factory. We can do whatever the hell we want with it. So let's go over here to our steam pump. It's nighttime. There's no enemies near us. I hope I don't have to shoot anybody. And we're going to go ahead and put that in there. So it's going to boil the water up and it'll actually tell you the temperature, which is at 100. And then we're going to place our steam engine wherever right here. And now it's now it's powered. So this is going to start. Its temperature is 77. Um, we're going to need to get some po telephone poles. Or not telephone poles, but uh, what are they called? Electric mining drill. Where is it actually? There it is. Electric pole. So we need wood and copper plates, which we don't have any of. But let's go find some wood. All right, so there's wood over here. I don't know how much wood I get to out of that. And the resource is pretty much gone. It tells you you only have one. Ooh, I got six total right now. There we go. So we got eight total. That should be enough to make some telephone poles. There we go. So this will be, I think this will be enough. But basically, the way the poles work is it creates a field of electricity coming from here. And we're going to try to power this thing right here. Right here. See that it needs it. And then bam. So now the water is coming out. And then it's generating enough electricity. Oops. Didn't, let's click out of that. It's generating electricity to pump out all of this. Now, this is not the most ideal scenario. In fact, I think I might want to rethink this. But basically, let's put a belt out here. Because we can test just about anything. Uh, and then we're going to have to get rid of that one and place that here. So they don't come out here, and that can grab one. And then let's turn it over here and make some more belts. And then keep it flowing. Let's make a few more. Keep it flowing to over here, right? So basically, actually, we can probably, yeah, let's make one more. Sorry, this is actually kind of complicated. I'm trying to think of how to do this right now. Um, yeah, I'm going to need some more. Let me get some more. Actually, rotate this. No, it needs to go up. Oops. It needs to go up one more. Rotate. I like how it auto saves. Okay, and then we'll grab this, make some more belts, take it, rotate it, then come over here, and then bam. Okay, so now we can do another inserter. Put this back, put the inserter right. Uh, it can go into here. So now that needs to get powered. We can take the telephone pole and place it right here. So now. If this one runs out, this one will take from this belt and place it into there, which I don't think it will run out. Um, God, I hate that, actually. Uh, I think it's good for right now. If, let's say I've already taken it, right? See how it takes it and places it in there? Give it three, four, five, and then it calls it quits. And now I can put another inserter if I had the resources. Let me get some copper. And uh, I can put some into here directly. So as long as this is powered... It will be fine. We do have health on some of this stuff, but that's what the repair kits are for. And uh, we might need some more wood for more poles later on. But essentially, this is how it works. Uh, it's super awesome. I mean, the, basically super awesome. Okay, so we got uh, stone bricks in here. Uh, let's get some more copper out. Uh, we should get a drill. Let's make a drill. Can we? We need stone. Let's get some stone down here, I think. And then we can make... Um, another drill so we can automate copper as well that will help out so we can make some electronics because the electronic parts are made with the copper i think we need just five and that should be fine well we can make another stone furnace but we have that we just need nine metal plates which we can get from up here okay so this one is out as you can see right here <laughs> which sucks but uh we're gonna make a drill we can replenish that in a bit making a drill takes some time all right, let's put the drill right here. 
And right here, then we're going to put one belt right there with a burner inserter facing towards the burner. Perfect. Now we can take the coal. Let's put half the coal, actually. Half the coal, put it in there. Dig up some iron, place it in there. Make some godforsaken cop or iron. Copper, actually. And we'll get some copper plates in there. Sweet. Okay, so now we can make... What are we trying to make again? Um... I already forgot. What do we need out here? We got that rolling. Oh, we need another uh, inserter. There we go. And we're going to get the inserter. And it's going to face this way. And then we're going to add the last telephone pole right out here to be powered. Boom. And now it'll keep that flowing too. So basically, this entire stream of stuff <laughs> will... Now, the, the hardest part is actually, now the inserter, what I'm thinking could do, I'm trying to see how I can split the pathway out, but that's actually going to be hard. I might actually have to create a different um, thing over here. In fact, what I could do is just make a longer road to go down, you know what I mean? So, this goes here, and then let's if we make more, we can put it up and around this way. And it will just keep traveling. And then we can split it off. We just want one pathway, pretty much. Now, this is going to be automated forever, as I can imagine. As long as we keep the copper going. Actually, I need to go ahead and place that back down here. Let's make some uh, transport belts. And then we're going to go in here and take all this <laughs> amazing amounts of uh, ore out here. Destroy that. Um, 1.5 thousand. That's still enough. That's still enough. And we're just going to keep this going over here. Okay. So now that will keep it going. Now, ideally, right now, for right now, we can just take, you know, 50 coal and put it in there to keep it powered. But what we would want, honestly, is another inserter to be over there. Okay, so going to power up that one. And we could use a little bit more in here. And then we can use a little bit more in here. Perfect. So we get some copper plates out. And then we can make the inserter, which I'm going to place over here. And it's going to face inward towards it. But we're going to need more belts, too. So let's make some more belts. So basically, we're going to want this to go here to be picked up. And then what I'm going to want is another drill, if I can do that. I need more stone for that, which we can automate. But for right now, this will work. Um, we'll keep this powered. But what I'm looking to do is have another drill here, right? Or right here. Output out here. Uh, and we'll rotate this to actually show you what I'm trying to do. And then down there and then we can't make any more or can we yeah we can one more and then like that okay so the drill will do that and then we can actually take another inserter put it here or actually let me see so we might have to put the drill here right let's say in these four blocks the belt will come out all the way here and wrap around and then the inserter can grab from here and place back in so that's how it's going to work we're going to need some more resources, but I want to do this before I end this video because that sounds like it sounds like a good idea, but I may not know what I'm doing. I got plenty of copper going. That's fine. Eventually, that'll be automated as well. This is all self-sustaining, which is fantastic. Okay, so we're going to need to make the offshore pump um, and then the steam engine and the boiler we're going to need stone for. Is there stone close? Yes, there is. So we're going to need some stone. Let me gather some. Okay, so we got 10 of those. I'm going to need some more wood, too, because we're going to have to make some uh, poles for electricity. Because basically we're making the other offshore pump over here to pump this because the electricity can't span that far. And I don't want to stress the resources over there. So, let's put it right here. And then we'll put the... Uh, I can make the boiler. And we'll place the boiler, obviously, right here. Which we're going to have to power. And then we can take this uh, and place it right there. Perfect. So that's fine. We're going to need some more stuff. So I think I'll just put 15 in there for now. Boil it up. We'll automate that eventually. Um, but let's go ahead and make the drill. Um, which then we can make some poles. All right. Let's put the drill down. I want to face it out here. And then I want to make some more belts. And this is going to come out here. Oh, wait. No. Actually, we can rotate that. No, we can't. Or can we? I think we can, but let's just do this, rotate, rotate, or keep it going straight for a second, then rotate, then go down, 
Actually, if we could put it out one more, it'll work. I think. Sorry, guys. I'm figuring this out as I do it. And then rotate, rotate. Yeah. Okay, then we can have that. That would be awesome. Okay, so let's get some more iron, and we should be okay. And some more copper, just to be safe. Okay, so we can go ahead and make some more transport belts. And an inserter. Uh, technically, two inserters. I'm going to go ahead and make those ahead of time. But put this down here, and this is going to rotate around. Come around here, and boom. Okay, so you see what I'm doing here? Now, I might actually have to make... Let me redo this. Sorry. Because I'm going to try to fuel um, all of this. So we're going to go straight over here. Right? Or turn this. Or no, it has to be one over because it's got to have room for the burner insert or the inserter over here. Actually, I think that was enough. Damn it. I can save myself one. I'm going to do it. Boom, up, 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 up. And then rotate that. Actually, I think it's right there. So we have to do one more up and then rotate it. And then rotate it back down around here. And then it will come around here and then collect. So we have the burner inserter that's going to grab from right there and power itself. And then burner inserter right here, going to grab and power that. Now we just need the poles to connect with all of them. Um... Which I can't place. I can place. It's not going to power that. Right there. And then this one should power. I wish I could power both. That would be nice. But just one right here and then one right here. Boom. Okay, so that's enough power. Let's get some more belts. That's pretty much how we're going to do it. Okie dokie. We can make a bunch more belts. Let's make a few. Place them down here. I know I'm talking a lot about the game and not necessarily doing all this fun commentary stuff, but this is one of those games you should really just be chill with versus, you know, being obnoxious with. Okay, so let's take a look. This should be enough. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Now we need some more coal, um, which I'm going to dig for real quick. Hopefully this works. I have no idea if it will. We just need to power this for a quick second and boom. It'll produce, grab it, put it in there, right? Now, it should do that up to five. And then once it's at five, it'll start producing more, if I'm not mistaken. So five. There we go. Yep, so it's at five, and then it'll produce this one out. And as long as this one gets up to five, which it has enough of, it won't do it. See what I'm saying? So now it'll produce very slowly... Not ideally, but very slowly. Now, what I could do is actually uh, do another drill with some stone and actually double produce this. But we have two being produced right now. So this is just basically going to fuel this. And it's just self-fueling right here. <laughs> Does that make sense? This is super complicated. So let me break this down one more time. we got the steam engine over here, right, that's giving power to all the inserters. Now, this one is producing some and producing coal out here, which we have 1.8 thousand more to do. This air inserter right here is being powered and giving this up to five at any given time to make sure that it's continuously fueled. Then once it's in excess of five, the coal will start passing down here and then go through here uh, to power up this one to make sure this one has five. This has 14 right now. I'll actually take that away and let that go ahead and start making sure it works, first of all. Ooh, ooh, wait a second. It can't grab it. It cannot grab it. Let's try to go... We're going to have to go one more up here. So let's go um, up and then around, then around, then down. Let's see if it grabs it. There we go. It didn't have enough time to do it. So now it'll fuel that one up to five. The rest will go bypass and pile up here to be fueled for here. <laughs> So all of these are automated, and this is producing out here a substantial amount of coal right now to keep this automated. Now, this isn't a good amount of storage, per se. So I'd say what I want to do is take... Uh, let's make another inserter, right? And then we have the iron chest. I'm going to go ahead and place this within power range right here. Then the inserter can go in there. And then it can just start storing it in there, all the excess coal that we're going to have. So that's that, guys. That's the beginning factory here. I know this is a long video, and it wasn't, like, much entertaining commentary, but just informative and trying to think of what I'm doing. But that's what this Let's Play is going to be. I hope you guys enjoy it, chilled out from 
the rest of the stuff that I do. And again, look forward to me playing this uh, with some other YouTubers possibly in the future. Let me know down in the comment section below if you want to see more. And leaving a thumbs up always helps. So thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, I just told you what to do. And you always know what to do anyway. I love you all, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.